Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my way too early college football playoff predictions. Uh, before I get started, um, the way I did this is I did one through four, um, my four teams, and then I also listed five and six who just missed out in the on those um, final two spots. Um, another thing, please do not hold me to this. Um, I know these are not going to be my final predictions. Uh, but as of right now, these are my way too early college football playoff prediction. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start at number one and then go down the list. At number one, Clemson. I think Clemson gets the number one seed. I think they have the easiest path to go 12-0. and 0. As long as they get past Texas A&M in week two at home, I think they have a very easy path to the ACC championship getting undefeated and being 13-0. I think they'll be the only undefeated team in college football by that time at this time. And I think that um, they'll get the number one seed because they're undefeated. Um, I don't know if they're going to blow out all of their, all of their um, opponents or if it's all going to be close games. But I do think at the end of the um, football season, uh, next season, I think that Clemson will be undefeated at 13-0. and So that's why they're the number one seed. Number two seed. Alabama and number two and number three I was really close with but I gave the nod to Alabama because they're in the SEC um because the, the my third team is not in the SEC the um Alabama Crimson Tide I think is a shoe in as well just like Clemson uh I do think Alabama will lose a game somewhere on the way to uh, the final day of selection for the playoffs. I don't know if it's going to be in the regular season or it's going to be in the SEC championship. But I do think that Alabama um, will lose a game somewhere. I don't know to who yet. Uh, right now, I'm leaning towards either Texas A&M or Mississippi State in the regular season, or if not, Georgia in the championship, or maybe Florida. All I know is that I think Alabama will have one loss on the record. Um, it'll be a, a strong loss, though, against a top-10 team, obviously. But, I mean, if you're Alabama, you should be happy. You're the number two seed with these predictions. But I do think Alabama will lose a game somewhere, and that's why I can't put them at number one. Number three, Ohio State. I think the Big Ten is going to get a team in this upcoming year into the college football playoffs. My um, prediction, Ohio State at the number three seed. I think Ohio State, they're a um, phenomenal t ph phenomenal um, team. Um, I I think they could really – I don't think they're going undefeated per se. Um, I already have the lost circle on who they're going to lose to this upcoming season. Northwestern on the road on a Friday night. But I don't think they're going to get blown out by Northwestern or whoever that one loss is to. I don't think Ohio State will have that like big, nasty loss in the middle of the schedule like they do, did against Iowa or Purdue by like 30 points. Um, I think all, I think Ohio State, either their game's going to be really close to all of them or they're going to blow out a lot of teams and wins and then maybe just lose one by a field goal or a touchdown. And I think Ohio State's good enough um, – to be any team in the um, Big Ten West in the championship and be a 12 and one team, and I think that's good enough to make the number three seed in the uh, college football playoffs. The only reason the Alabama gets the nod because they're in the SEC Bell Conference. So Ohio State number three, and then number four. Um, before I get to number four, um, I really had a tough time with this one. I could have gone a number of different directions. This is why I say don't hold me to it because it's probably going to be changed. Um, I looked at. Um, several teams. I looked at, at I looked at the Pac-12, Oregon, and Washington, and Washington State. I looked at the Big 12 with Oklahoma and, and Texas. I looked at the SEC with Florida, LSU, Georgia, even Missouri. Um, I didn't really look at any of the teams in the ACC. I looked at Notre Dame as well. In the Big 10, I looked at Michigan and Penn State and um, Wisconsin, but at the end of the day, uh, right now, if you had hold me to it, by the way, do not hold me to it, but as of right now, in my way too early predictions, I have Georgia as a number four seed. Um, now, I do think Georgia is going to be a two loss team. Uh, it could be 11 and two. It could be, um, well, it will be 11 and two. They could be 10 and two going into the conference championship and then win the conference championship. 
and win the SEC and go 11 and 2. They could be 11 and 1 going into the conference championship and then end up being 11 and 2. I think Georgia, um, talent wise, is a top four team. That's kind of the difference. I think, um, I, personally, I think Georgia got robbed. Um, I think Georgia and Ohio State got robbed. I think those should have been the three and four seeds. But especially Georgia. Georgia was a very talented team. They beat everybody on their schedule. They they had one loss against LSU. That was a top 10 team. So, I mean, if you look at Georgia, I, I, I mean, I do think they'll definitely at least losing one in the regular season. But even then, I mean, even if the, even they have two losses, like I think they will by uh, conference championship week after the uh, conference championships, I just don't. I, I I would give the nod to Georgia based on talent, and I think Georgia will blow out a lot of teams this season that are probably going to be at least eight or nine win teams. So that's why I'll give the nod to Georgia. So Georgia is the number four. Um, the two teams I just missed, I'm just going to go through them pretty quickly. Um, number five, Washington. Yes. Um, I, I'm going to be a bit bold here with, with my way too early predictions. I think Washington can run the table and possibly go 12 and one. Um, the only thing is that they're in the Pac-12, so it's really only like a, th a three-team race to represent the playoffs in the Pac-12 out of 12. The Pac-12 South is pathetic. Um, the Pac-12 North, even like Washington State uh, and Oregon, the other two teams, those teams aren't going to, I mean, put those two teams up against the SEC. As a matter of fact, we're going to see week one, Oregon versus Auburn, um, and we'll see what happens. Washington lost to Auburn last year, so I, to me, the Pac-12 is nowhere close to the big conferences like the SEC and the Big Ten. But I do think that Washington, um, since they're a Power 5 conference and Washington's going to be 12-1, and 1, they will be at least in the top five. Um, I just have them on the outside looking in because I think Georgia's a more talented team. But give me Washington at number five. And then at number six, LSU. I think LSU is going to be a 10-2 team. And they're probably just going to miss the conference championship. But, I mean, I hate to say that to LSU fans, but you're probably losing to Alabama and Tuxaloosa. And you have a road game against Texas. You got to go on the road against Mississippi State. Um, you get to go um, on the road, I think, as well against, um, I want to say, uh, Auburn. No, not Auburn. You go on the road against somebody as well. Or is it... Um, is it no? I, I forget who, but you you go on the road for a few big games, and I, I mean, I you're losing Alabama, and I just think you're gonna lose one of the other games that I listed Texas A and M, Mississippi State. Um, do they go on the road against? I think they get Vandy on the road. Um, so that's not really a tough game, but like you, I, I, LSU is gonna lose two games. It might even be a home game against like Florida or, um. Whoever else comes to their stadium, Texas A and M, but I, in my opinion, LSU is just going to lose two games, and they'll be on the outside looking in. Um, but they're going to be pretty good talent wise, and you're going to get the um, you're going to get the thought that LSU, if they were in the SEC, will be have a better record. So that's what the problem is. The the SEC is pretty packed this upcoming year, in my opinion, and we're going to see what happens. But overall, those are my six teams. Um, why you're wondering, there's no Big 12 teams. Uh, the Big 12 is going to be weak next year, um, next season. I just feel like the Big 12 is going to be weak. Oklahoma may even be, um, well, if Oklahoma is undefeated, I think you should put them in. But, like, Oklahoma is going to have a loss somewhere. Um, you look at Texas, they'll gonna at least have two or three losses. West Virginia is losing a lot of talent. Iowa State, I don't know, I, you can't trust them to go above 10-2 and two, in my opinion. Other teams in the Big 12, Oklahoma State, 8-4, and 9-3. But so if you look at the Big 12, I mean, they have some decent teams, but like they're, they're not going to compete um, with the SEC this upcoming year. Um, if you look at other teams, the ACC, I, um, your second best team in the ACC might be Miami. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Michigan, another team that just got left out. I just feel like Michigan is just going to be looked at and they're going to have like two or three losses on their schedule. It's just going to be like in the John in the um, Jim Harbaugh chance and um, speculation that he should be fired is going to keep on rising. Um, 
you look at Penn State, I just don't think they have enough talent, and they'll have at least two or three losses. I don't think any team in the Big Ten West will contend um, seriously. Um, I look at the SEC, Florida, they're going to go 9-3, and three, Florida, in my opinion. Missouri's a wild card, but I, I, really, you're going to pick Missouri. Um, I don't want to hear from Tennessee fans or Vandy fans. Kentucky, uh, you're losing two of your, you're, you're, you're losing your two best players to the NFL. So you're going to have big shoes to fill there. Um, other teams, Mississippi State, not enough offense. Texas A&M, I still think they're a year out. Um, who else? South Carolina, don't want to hear from you. Um, Ole Miss and Arkansas, I don't want to hear from you. Um, and then you look at the Pac-12, don't want to hear from any team in the Pac-12 South. Oregon, I still think you're at least a year or two out. And Washington State, I think you guys just took advantage of a bad Pac-12 last year. Um, but you guys will still be have a good team. But anyways, and, and UCF fans, UCF, um, sorry, you're a group of five team. I think you're going to have one loss this year somewhere. Um, look at your schedule. It's a tough schedule. You get like Stanford, Pitt, North Carolina. You get Temple on the road. Um, you get Cincinnati on the road, I believe, as well. So definitely a tough schedule there. You're probably going to lose one if you're UCF, um, especially if you've known Mackenzie Milton, your best player. And then Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame's at least going to lose two or three games, in my opinion. So that's what I'm looking at right now. So Clemson won. Alabama 2, Ohio State 3, Georgia 4, and then just missing out Washington 5 and LSU 6. Those are my predictions. Comment down below about my way too early college football playoff predictions. Um, tell me what you think. Also, please like and subscribe. Um, more likes, more subscribers, more fun we can have on the channel. Thanks for watching, and this is McDee the Beast signing off.